70 in the greenhouse um, even though it is like 45 outside and it was overcast today so that is good news I got that little infrared space heater at a um, like a local hardware store it was on sale at right before Christmas Maya started filling in the gaps today to try to make sure this is a little more sealed I I really need to start my seeds but I've been hesitant because we have this major cold front coming in in the next couple weeks um, with lows in the teens and I just I, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to start a bunch of stuff and then it freeze um, I'm, I'm really just starting brassicas now so they can handle it getting cold in here but they need some heat to germinate so I'm hoping that this is going to do okay we're supposed to get a pretty cold night tonight so I'm gonna check it in the morning and see how how it fared overnight <laughs> you almost just saw me fall down hey smiley Clo what's up girl no baby goats yet we're still on watch they just sure do look close look at that wide load hey mayhem the girls got some fresh straw in here, getting ready for the cool nights. If I were to photograph this scene, I would call it backyard cleanup by five begrudging boys. Hey, are you happy to be a helper, Benjamin Peter? Yeah, but I, I don't know where trash is. You don't know where any trash is? No. Oh gosh, what, I've been what in the world? Class. Where could you find some? <laughs> hey. What do you think, JP? So I've gotten a lot of questions lately about Journey Pig um, since she's been out here loose in the backyard. She's a potbelly pig. Um, she was an impulse buy, I guess about three years ago, for Jackson's 10th birthday, and he is now 13. So uh, he went to the sale barn with me one day, and it was, it was his birthday, and we went to sell some stuff. And while we were there, Somebody had potbelly pigs. She had been in a petting zoo. She was a little bit older, so she wasn't like the cute little tiny uh, teacup size, barely weaned. She was like 12 weeks, so she was like this big, really wiggly and hard to hold on to. And so they sold her to us for $10. And Jackson begged me, he really wanted her for his birthday. So I said, okay, he named her Journey because he thought it was a pretty name. And so, that's the story of Journey Pig. She's kind of obnoxious and she poops everywhere. I am scared sometimes she's gonna bite me, but she never has. But she comes and starts pressing on my leg with her nose. I get a little nervous. Jeremiah's not a huge fan. Of who? JP. Not really. Have you seen what she did to the backyard? Yeah, all the poop. Everywhere. I'm not even feeding her that much to poop that much. I don't even get it. We're about to attempt something that may or may not go as planned. We need to move a really big pig um, down to the garden. And we're gonna try to lead her with some food. We don't really have a plan B. This may be stupid. Oh, she's scared. Wrong way, girlfriend. Turn around. Okay, we got the pig in the garden. Oh, some of the things on this farm would make funny videos if we had a camera man. There was no hole in the camera on that one. Put the pig in the garden, she said. It'll be a good idea, she said. So our plan for a little while now has been to use pigs to 
ready the ground in our garden spaces. Of course, we've got the pigs in the back. Uh, we're moving all of that over because um, our little girl pigs need to be away from the boy pig at this point. Um, this old spot, we went ahead and moved down a sh and she should make quick work of getting that taken care of. I was reading today about how uh, how long pig manure needs to break down before it can be safely used on a garden because I would I knew we'd kind of put this off a little too long we meant to do this a couple of months ago everything that I read said that it's safe to plant in within 60 days and it's safe to harvest in within 120 now since everything that's going into this garden um, it's stuff like an asparagus patch rhubarb perennials flowers berry bushes all of this is going to be kind of like our cottage garden i felt pretty good about putting her down here um so we'll keep pigs in this space until the end of february oh, kid george And then it should be fine to plant in by the end of April whenever we're clear of frost. Journey Pig's actually making her way over here as well. She's gonna hang out with this pig for the next couple of months in this space so we can make sure that it's getting uh, cleared out. Yeah, the last one. Come on, Journey. All right, there you go. Come on, Journey. Come on, Journey. A little bit more. Just to be on the safe side, since both of these spaces are going to have manure that's not aged a year, um, even though everything does say it's safe to plant within 60 days and harvest within 120, I am not going to plant anything like leafy and green, um, like lettuces or cabbages or anything like that could, that could potentially harbor pathogens. Anything that's short season, like I'm not going to go in 60 days and plant radishes and those things. Something that we would be pulling out and eating directly. I'll be reserving those spaces, of course, like I said, up here for perennials. And in the back, um, that's where we were already planning to do melons and squashes, uh, corn, kind of more of the space intensive things. So all of those will be fine to plant in that manure and it will be 60 days afterwards, but of course we won't be harvesting anything out of there until 120 days after. With having the two greenhouses and all of the raised beds, we'll have plenty of space to plant all of our leafy things and early season stuff without having to worry about using those spaces. Now we've just got to move one of the pig houses down here as well as one of the big water barrels so that they have shelter and water. And Maya is actually going to take this bale of hay that I was using to mulch the garden with last year and pick it up with the tractor and tump it over the top of the fence. You look at my puss in boots, big eyes. What's up, bro? How old were you when we got Journey Pig? Ten? Yeah, I think so. Nine or ten, I think it was ten. Now, Journey Pig has um, has a job for the next couple of months, for, until the end of February at least. She has a job down here in the garden, and I'm not sure exactly where we'll put her next. I don't know that wandering loose in the backyard uh, is really gonna work, because she's literally leaving massive poop piles everywhere, so. Uh, this is good for now, and after this, maybe we can uh, move her to the back and uh, rotate her around. I don't know what we're gonna do, but I've had my fair share of pig wrangling today. We're losing light. I'm gonna go inside and cook dinner. Thanks for hanging out with us today, guys. I bless you. Until next time. Mm -hmm.